Stoichiometry Laboratory Exercises 1 Here are the materials we need for this project Baking Soda Finicar Clear plastic jar Plastic bottle with screw cup Measuring spoon Large stub Two small plastic bag 2 inches width Procedure Fill your big tub with water. Submerge your jar with markings and fill it with water. Fill about half of the plastic bottle with vinegar. Measure 1 4 teaspoon of baking soda and put in the small clear plastic bag. Cut the plastic bag if it's too long. Drop the small plastic bag with the baking soda on the bottle with vinegar and immediately close the bottle. Make sure that the baking soda does not react with the vinegar before the lid is tightly closed. Shake the bottle until all the baking soda is consumed. The reaction is complete when no significant bubbling is observed. You may need someone to help you with this part. Flip your jar upside down with markings while maintaining the mouth submerged in water. Make sure no air is present inside the jar. Put the plastic bottle under water and carefully place the mouth of the bottle inside the jar. Open the bottle carefully to release the carbon dioxide from the reaction into the jar. The water level inside the jar should be decreasing as the carbon dioxide is transferred. Record the volume of the gas trap in the jar before recording. Make sure that the water inside and outside of the jar is at the same level. This would ensure that the pressure inside the jar is the same as the pressure outside. The water level inside the outside jar decreased 100 ml means that 100 ml of carbon dioxide was formed. That's all for today. This is Jason from AMA University and thank you very much for watching.